I'm born ready. Are you sure? Yeah, I was a, a C section. No, I was going to have like this. <laughs> C section? Yeah. Yeah. My mom is too posh to push. Well, I'm surprised you had her legs apart she to have not... you in the first place. Ooh. Well, with that pelvic floor of hers being all over the place. Well, you know, what are you going to do? She's very Cross flexible your legs back there. The Brian didn't care. Brian's like, put those feet behind your ears and let's just go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very flexible. Are you recording? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Mm. It's me, Wilma Fingerdo, with the Fingerdo Review of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 6, Episode 3. I am joined by my illegitimate drag daughter, Wilhelmina Boxfarts. How are you, Wilhelmina? Super duper, Wilma. How are you? I am extra special happy because I get to thank a tipper do. Stephanie sent me a tipper do. And no, Stephanie, I'm not going to embarrass you by saying your name wrong. I can never say it. I'm never going to say it. You know who you are. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So... Drag Race UK. Yeah. Season six. Season six. Episode three. Episode three. Another non-elimination. How week. annoying. Ugh. I hate it when nobody goes. I'm not that... On, on one level, I have to say, I'm enjoying this cast enough that I'm, I'm kind of glad nobody's yeah. going home. But at the same time, it's like, come on. We're ready. We're going to be here till the cows come home. And, yeah. and you know where those cows have been. You know where those cows have been. Nowhere I'm good. ready to see someone clean off a mirror message. Yes. Come on. Mm. Seriously. Because when there isn't one... Well, the queens get feisty. They do. They start looking for other reasons to complain about things. Real feisty, Chanel. Yeah. yeah. But we won't bring up Chanel right away. We're going to talk about Lil, who won the Rue Peter badge last week, right out from under Chanel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Normally, I don't, uh, I don't go for the uh, Freudenschade, but this was delicious. Yeah, you know, you love Freud and I do, I do, but I don't like to say it out loud because it makes me sound like a bad person. Well, it's just because of your German accent. Everything sounds bad. When you speak in a German accent. Achtung, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Lil was congratulated, but then, of course, Lavoie, who I'm loving, 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 but boy, did she stir that pot. Oh, she took no time at it either. She had to cause some trouble. She asked Chanel how she felt about not winning the sewing challenge when Lil did when she'd sewn so much of Lil's. Like, she didn't hide it. She yeah. made it clear what she was asking her, yeah. and Chanel did not disappoint. I thought it was very interesting that out of the gate she was like, well, you know, we all worked on everything and everything, blah, 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 blah. But if I wasn't going to win the award, I'm glad that Marm didn't get it. Yeah. First of all, I can't call her Marm. Yes, Makes her can. sound like an old woman. Marm's maybe, mar but Marmalade. That's, she'll always be Marmalade, Marmalade. to me. Chanel then said, because it's an equal opportunity diss, the only reason Lil was in the top was because she'd made her outfit. I'd like to just say, if they went by team, the winning team was House of Zen, and all three were the top, and having them all lip sync for the win made complete sense to yeah. me. And it was the lip sync that determined the winner. Yeah. Chanel, it was the lip sync. Clearly, Chanel is not a lip sync artist. And the thing I find hilarious is how good Lil is when she's just winging it. And then my love affair with Lil continued because in the confessional, she said the only reason Chanel got her nose out of joint was she was fine with everything up until the moment where she didn't win. And then she had an axe to grind. Bless her. Of course, Chanel didn't care. She's not there for friends. No, clearly. She's there for badges. Yeah. But she doesn't have any badges she's either. She's not going to get so either if she keeps this up. You make a friend or two along yeah. the way to yeah. distract yourself from the fact that you have yet to win a badge. Yeah. Bless. Just say Bless. Bless. Chanel said that the only reason for her attitude was because of the jealousy that was heaped on the sewers. But she's been the only one who's mentioned sewing since she walked into that workroom. Yeah, she's trying to create some sort of seamstress drama. Because, you know, she made all of her outfits, you know. Oh, all, all of them. Of all of them, yeah. Every single yeah. one. Needless to say, they've all been outfits. mediocre so far. There have only been two, but still, I'm just saying. She hasn't wowed anyone on that runway yet. I would talk more about how good her makeup application is than her sewing. Yeah, absolutely. Give it the program, Chanel. I have to say, the one thing that made me laugh the whole time all this shade was going on was there was Kyron sitting there right next to Lavoie with her mouth open like she was catching flies. The whole time she was up. I thought at one point her jaw was going to dislocate and hang from her neck. It was so funny. She just... She's getting ready for all that popcorn. Mm. And the only time she shut that mouth was later when they were all de-dragging and she and 
uh, Marmalade were standing at the mirror and Chanel came unbeknownst to Marmalade next to them while they were complaining about Chanel. And that was when <laughs> there's Kyron putting on her face. Like, oh, uh -huh. yeah. And she shut uh -huh. that trap and said, nothing, nothing. And of course, I don't think that either of them had anything to be embarrassed or, uh, uh, you know, ashamed of saying because they weren't saying anything that wasn't true no. or that hadn't happened. They Precisely. were just trying to make sense of it. Yeah. And of course, there's Chanel going, I'm sorry, are we all right? No, no, Clearly not, right. clearly not. Oh, Chanel, yeah, Marmalade had to leave and compose herself, which I respected. Well, yeah, she felt, no. I, she seemed to get ganged up by the room because as she was, ar not arguing with Chanel, but trying to make her point clear, the queen started to gather like wildebeest at a watering hole. And then even Kiki came right up to kind of right get in her face and go, oh, here's what we need to... I totally respect Marmalade for leaving the room. Like, way better. Get out of the room, collect yourself, get your point, yeah. and then come back. Which she didn't do till the next day. Which also made me love her yeah. quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, all the queens were all... It was like the elephant in the room. They all had their popcorn ready to go, but they weren't sure when they should start eating it. But... The answer was right away. Right away. Yeah. Right away. Yeah, I like that. Well, Marmalade, you know, basically told Chanel why she was upset and why Chanel was a bad person. And Eloquently. Chanel, to her credit, took her lumps. With a sour ditch rat face on her, but sort still. Sort of apologized. But then she also tried to defend herself, which, you know, when you put a butt on the end of yeah. your, your apology, it's not an apology. It's not an apology. Yeah. Thank God Rue showed up. Thank God. First of all, Rue had a mini challenge. I love a mini challenge. I love a mini challenge. I do. It just breaks up the day. But yeah. I think it was hilariously apropos that the mini challenge was airing your dirty laundry. Dirty laundry. Do you think that they uh, yes. have the mini challenges in the can and they decide if there's one that's appropriate for that week? Like if they decide when they're going to open the library, they're like, oh, this would be a good week. I feel that they, they, that? they, I feel it's a little looser. Like, I think with Snatch Game, there's always the reading challenge, but this is one of those mini challenges where it could really almost go anywhere. They're like, should we do a photo shoot? It's like, no, no. no Let's no, stir no. the pots. Let's more. stir the pots more, exactly. Mm. And, and, well, they did. So, what happened was the Brit crew, yum, mm -hmm. uh, strung out some odd things on the line. And then, uh, because Lil had won, she got to pick first. And what she had to do was pick a piece of, uh, clothing or laundry, and it had a word on it. She had to give it to the queen it most uh, emulated. So she grabbed the bra first. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? You go no. straight for the brassiere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot, what did it say? Perky. It, perky, that's right. Well, Isn't clearly, it? Zahaira. Zahaira. Yeah, she got that, and rightly so. Yeah, because I don't think it was for bosoms. It was for... No, 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 it was no, for no. Best, what was it for? Best vibes. Perky, 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 happy, happy, perky joy, vibes. joy. Yeah, that type of thing. And I, I agree. Yeah. Best Zahara, vibes. Zahara is... Just give him some good vibes. She's a feel-good queen, whether you're feeling her or just in her presence. She's a feel-good queen. So her choice was pants. Pants. Big old pair of lady pants. Ooh, and big old uh, bloomers. And what were pants for? Pants were for the weakest competitor. And she took no time giving them to Charity. Sorry, girl. Poor Chara. She just was not. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh. And she's so, a bit pants, that one. So mm. she had to go pick, and she grabbed the T-shirt, which said basic, and she wasted even less time giving it back to Zahira. So she's basic and perky. Perky, basically perky. That's right. what she is, basically perky. Yeah, yeah. So then Zahira got to pick another, another article. Another one, too, for her. She grabbed the wet blanket. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, the competitor having the least amount of fun, which... To no one's surprise, uh, went to Chanel. I was a little surprised that little tiny Zahira gave that to Chanel because already Chanel's proven that if you cross her, she's size? going to get right in your mm -hmm. face about it. And Chanel took it with a smile. Did she? Is that Did, how she smiles? Well, I think, it's, mm -hmm. I think a sneer is as close to a smile as she's Fair ever going to get. But uh, mm -hmm. then she went up to the clothesline and she grabbed the boots that said stomping on the competition. And I think it was very big of her to give those to Kyron, because she is. And, you know, Kyron, I don't think was surprised that she no, got No, Kyron she, assumed that they were going to come to her. Yes, as soon as she saw what they were. yes, yeah. yes. 
And then Kyron grabbed the baseball hat and it said, big headed. Big, big hat. I, that could have been gone to Chanel as well. But no, she sent it to Lavoie. And Lavoie. I loved Lavoie's reaction to it. She seemed so pleased to be involved. Yes. To be included. Please include me. Yeah. Young, yeah, young yeah. people. Yeah. And that's what Shade's about. I'm making fun of you because I care enough to. Well, and Kyron tried to pretend that it was... You know, a compliment, and not necessarily the biggest ego, but, you know, the most seasoned queen. The, there was, I don't know. Yeah, it, no. I, I still think it was a bit of shame. Yeah, no, that's a whole lot of shame. Whole, <laughs> not just from the brim. But it also wasn't misplaced shame. No, but neither one of them seemed particularly upset, both in the giving and the receiving. Yeah. Everyone seemed, mm, yeah. very, mm, I don't know what I'm saying. We'll just cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Rue announced that there was the Maxi Challenge British rom-coms. Are you a fan of British rom-coms? I love a British yeah, rom-com. I love rom-coms of any kind, but the Brit, Brits seem to do it a little better than everyone else. Although I have to say, not uh, not love, actually. I can't believe you don't like that movie. I only because I watched it for the first time just, like, maybe three or four years it's ago. It's the best movie. It did not age well. If you watch it for the first time, 20 years after it's made, you're very aware of how problematic 90% of the characters in that movie are. So it's, unlike Four Weddings and a Funeral, which I've been watching year after year, yeah. ever since it came out, Love Actually was a bit shocking. It was like, oh, 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 oh. Either way, Either way, that was the Maxi Challenge. They had to break into two groups, and the way they decided it was that they took the basic tea and the pants. So Charity and Zahira yeah. uh, got to be the team captain. Team captain. And they got to pick their team. Yes. Ooh. Very exciting. Very exciting. Chera ended up picking for her team Octavia, Kiki, Marmalade, and Dita. And then Zahira grabbed Lavoie, Kyron, Lil, and Relisa, which left... But Relisa was... Some shit. It was her and Chanel for a minute there in the bottom, too, and Relisa seemed a little put out of sorts by that. She thought, well, what the hell? She didn't get picked last. She was picked second last, which left Chanel alone, and no one is shocked by that. No, no one wants to play with Chanel. She's already proven herself to not share her toys in the sandbox. No. Absolutely not. But what the twist was... She got to pick the team, and she picked the Zahira's team. Zahira's team. team. Yeah, and uh, much to their, I don't know, they didn't seem put out by it, but no. I think I think there was Team Chara was a little, oh, thank Oof, you. Yeah, Oof. team side relief. So Charity's team got the script for 40 funerals and a wedding. And Zahira's team got hate, actually, so clearly they were talking to me before they came up with these scripts. Yeah. Chara and Zahira got to assign the roles, yeah. but there, there didn't really seem to be any... Any fighting or debate? No, it, it oh, fell no. out fairly evenly. Like, people got what they wanted, and if they, they there was any, because there was a moment there where Dita wanted uh, a different role than what she ended up with, but she didn't put up a fight. No, because I don't think she has the energy. And without much fanfare, the queens got ready for their filming session with Michelle Visage. I love it when she directs. She's good. She's good. Yeah. She's very patient with the queens, but also there's a point where her, her patience runs out. And, and it ran out a few times, but yeah. she still, she helped the queens get to where they, at least as close to where they needed to be as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Zahira went first. Yeah, Zahira was doing a very uh, confusing Kira Knightley Yeah, impression. I like that. It's interesting to, to me, because this happened with the, the Hugh Grunt character, too. Clearly, these younger queens that didn't grow up with these people are seeing a personality of them that we miss yeah. as adults. and. The thing that Zahira noticed about Kira Knightley was that she moves her head a lot, and I thought that was odd. Yeah, she was like, well, everyone knows Kira Knightley does this. I was like, I, I just know Kira Knightley's clavicle, I and after her, that, I, I stopped paying attention. I think her and Hugh Grant hang out somewhere in Britain where everyone sees them acting a little more human than how they are in film, and that's what it is. I think that's the distraction. But yeah, once Michelle reined her in, she seemed to be a little more focused. She's fine, mm. yeah. Yeah, Lil had a bit of trouble... With her lines. And yeah, she was clearly playing the Emma Thompson character yeah. from Love Actually. Emma who, Frumpton. Yeah, which was a bit of a, uh, well, you know, the mom role where Emma Thompson gets the Joni Mitchell CD. And in this case, she got the Fab Force Five, which took her forever to say. Bless her heart. Fab Force Five. Is that right? Did I say it right? I don't know. Did you? I don't know. I don't really care. Is Michelle here? Is she going to hit you? Fierce you Force Five. Fierce Force Fierce Five. Force. So, Jeebus. Okay, maybe it's not so easy it's to say. It's not as easy as it looks. Relisa seemed to surprise everyone. She, me included. She killed that character. She's yeah. playing a crazy small child. And, and it had no reference to anything, so she really had carte blanche to do anything she wanted, and I think she made excellent choices. It was. I couldn't wait to see the 
the final product. Yeah, because she's so cute. Well, Chanel basically played herself. Well, and thank God she wasn't in it much. Yeah. She had that one scene and she got something dropped on her toe and we're good with that. So she's like, oh, a, a, a bitchy flight attendant. Done. And then Lavoie and Kyron seem to be having the time of their they lives. They were doing another show. They, they were really it, having a good time. Yeah, it was the Kyron and Lavoie show and it was brilliant. I would watch that all the time. I mean, if you hadn't told me that Kyron is doing a... A Hugh Grant impression? What was that? <laughs> I had no idea. But whatever it was, they seemed to be cracking up and cracking each other up. And that seemed to be their intent going in there. So I was like, okay. this I, I had no qualms about this team. I was no. like, this seems like a very solid team. And I can't wait to see the final product. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done. Cha-cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And then Team Chera went in to uh, really show us how not to do things. At least they did with Dita, who went first. She was playing... Uh, uh, the Bridget Jones influenced character badly. Badly, yet yeah, Dita, bless her heart, not an actress. No, but she also not able to take direction. But also, there seemed to be a lack of interest all around. Her wig was awful. Her makeup was boring. Her energy was not there. It just seemed like she was starting out behind the eight ball, out of the gate. It just felt like more Dita again, because. Yeah. The more of Dita I see, the more I'm like, oh, I see. Yeah. That's just. That's I feel like she talks she a good game, but there's no follow through. I really want to see. I really want to see what she does when she's doing her own thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's amazing, but yeah. this just does not seem like the right venue for her. No. Charity's character. The Vicar of Dibley. <laughs> the Vicar of Dibley seemed fun, but again, you know, an Irish accent is always fun. It doesn't always fun. Saying. Yeah, you can say anything, and it's going to be charming. Marmalade, who was playing the. Uh, Kate Winslet. Kate, Kate Winslet. Kate Winging. Winging. Character. Yeah, yeah. So uh, funny. She seemed to be having a good time. She was taking Michelle's direction well. And and again, Michelle gave her good notes. They yeah. weren't they weren't distracting her awe. They they actually helped her do the part better. Yeah, Kiki seemed to be in a bit of a different. I really liked what movie. Kiki did, but it had nothing to do with Julia Roberts or romantic mm. comedies. And uh, I was okay with it. it. It was almost it almost brought some life into the uh, scenes uh, where Dita was sucking it out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I I wasn't I didn't wasn't bothered by it, but it, I have to keep reminding myself she's trying to play a Julia Roberts. I kept style forgetting there. who she was supposed to be. But again, I'm going to just go out on a limb and say the star of this show, or at least the the spotlight stealer, was uh, Hugh Grant. This time played by Octavia via Michael Jackson. Yeah. Again, if you hadn't told me that that was no. a, a Hugh Grant impression, no, I would have been like. I remember Michael Jackson Both being. of them had the worst wigs on for it, too. It's like, Hugh Grant has lovely hair. Yeah. Like, oh, gosh. I just realized that maybe, because they were doing four weddings and 40 funerals in a wedding, mm -hmm. so maybe Dita thought that she was doing the... Uh, Andy McDowell. The Andy thing. McDowell part. Because yeah, yeah. Andy McDowell can't act her way out of the Because that was when she was clearly fresh out of modeling. And was, was just, only there to be beautiful and not necessarily bring anything more to the table. The least charming person. And a movie full of charm. And there's yeah. Don't Andy get me wrong. McDowell. I love Andy McDowell now. But at uh, that time, it was she was she was filler. Is it raining? Yeah. I hadn't noticed. Do you remember that Green Card? Read. What uh, the hell was that about? Uh, it was about an hour and a half too long. Is that, it yeah, I don't... <laughs> take Andy McDowell out of everything. Uh, and right. replace her with Dita. Yeah. It would be just as good. Just as good. You wouldn't miss her anymore. You wouldn't miss no. her. You'd be like, confusing choices. Yeah, yeah. Something's different, but I can't tell what, nor do I care. No. no. And then, slam bam, thank you ma'am, it was elimination day. The queens were getting ready for the runway. And I have to say, th this was just a lovely moment where Kiki, who is a young non-binary person, and really, I think the, the young... LGBTQIA people today have a much better understanding of non-binary and accepting it and being able to embrace it to themselves. She had that conversation with Dita, the oldest in the group, who, after a life of going through all of the horrors of being gay in a non-accepting world, is coming to terms with her non-binary and how she her pronouns are they and uh, them. And uh, it was just a really fabulous conversation. And I'm so glad that it was Dita that was involved because it really was the most interesting thing about her all season. Yeah, yeah, I really, I really enjoy that. And I, and, and I thank them both for having it. Yeah. Well done to them.
Zahira and Octavia had a nice little chat about their families. Yeah, yeah. And very family different, generals. but yeah. very similar. Yeah, they both were very well supported by their family. Octavia's mom is her cheerleader, still with her, still there, still cheering. Uh, but God bless Zahira talking about her dad. Yeah. It's horrible when you lose a parent, I think, without resolution. That's a hard thing when you that you, you are separated and still there's animosity. But, of course, even worse is when you are supported by that parent and then all of a sudden they're gone. And the way Zahira was talking about it, if they had stayed in the Philippines, uh, Zahira would have been in all the pageants. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why she was at RuPaul's Drag Race UK, was it, there's no bigger pageant. And uh, if her dad were still alive, he'd be right there. Well, they wouldn't allow her to be right there. But, Not right there. But, but in, in spirit. Yeah. And then it was time for the runway. Ru looked like a big old crazy guy. A tall, sexy, beautiful crazy quilt. And I was okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely okay with it. Uh, guest judge this week popping oh. in, Simon LeBond from Duran Duran. Yeah. I was never a Duran Duran fan. Well, I was a culture the, club fan, but they, I mean. Duran Duran wasn't a fan of you from what I hear. Well, this, you know, the, I sent them a lot of hate mail. Talking, well, talking trash I sent them a lot of hate mail. They had something to talk about. Was that a Duran Duran name I pulled out of my Yeah, you totally got head? it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well me. done. Well done. See, not as old as you think. Not as old as I think. Mm-hmm. But you're still old. Still old, yes. The category for the runway was New Romantics. The big With thing for hand. New Romantics was Adam Ant's album cover where he had the lines on his face and he had that uh, uh, military jacket. And, and it was very produced photo. He was in a set. It was very specific. David Bowie was very New Romantic, but in a wholly unique way. And it wasn't necessarily like the Adam Ant thing. Yeah. Because uh, Adam Ant, Dave, uh, Pete Burns... Um, not Boy George, although before Pre-culture Club Boy George. before they yeah. were famous, he was very new romantic, very much so. But yeah, odd makeup, just whatever you wanted, hair, whatever. It, it was very much a free for all with a lot of fabric. <laughs> That's how I remember yeah. it anyway. The runway happened, and the first one down was Lil, and I didn't hate what she was wearing, no, but it wasn't new romantic. It felt me. very, it felt kind of costumey. Very much so. She looked cute. She's she looked cute. great. Yeah. The skirt was interesting. I didn't love the skirt. It looked better from the back, but from the front, it looked like it was ripped or something. Mm-hmm. It, it, but, uh, but yeah, she had on that bicorn hat because those are all the rage. Everyone in Britain had one in the 80s. No one did. Bicorn, yeah. not a tricorn? Well, tricorn, bicorn. I don't know what the hell she was wearing, but it wasn't right. There were some corns. Yeah, yeah. I'm going <sighs> to... I'm going to give it a finger down. I'm just going to be rude and mean. Wow. Uh, I... I, I, I I don't think she hit that nail anywhere near the head. She looked great, don't get me wrong, but I'm just going to go clearly by what a new romantic look is, and I'm going to give her a finger down. Lavoie was up next and definitely took inspiration from Adam Ant. She looked more new romantic yes. with the hair and makeup. It was also the youngest she's looked so far. Absolutely. And then the outfit she had on that plaid skirt, which really wasn't new romantic, but the blouse was. So I'm going to give her a pinky do because she was half new romantic from the waist up she looked great yeah definitely yeah. from the chin up for sure definitely yeah. chin up chin up I don't know if she could do that mm. she's very old chin up oh I see chin ups exercise sorry I didn't realize you were referring to the exercise because an exercise reference coming out of you just seemed too out of left field what's a sports reference coming out of me uh, speaking of left field so. mm. speaking of sticky wicket <laughs> wow. wow is that what that smell is mm? release a Looks stunning, but this was not new romantic either. No, this was a new sexy pirate. No, pirate first of all, out. the color was spectacular. Look gorgeous. Yeah, and yeah. I love the sleeves on that coat, but that had nothing to do with new romantic. Yeah, at sleeves all. are fun. The hat was fun. She had a tricorn hat, yep. which again, why? But uh, but she still looks spectacular. I'm giving her a finger. Don't because it wasn't new romantic. Yes. But she she looked good. It just wasn't what they asked for. You yeah. are marking hard. I am hard this week. I'm over it. You've got your red pen. I feel You're like just, all these ooh. queens have had it too good for Girl. too long. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Sahira uh, took more inspiration from. Oh, sorry. Are you 
that so, was the worst. I don't even okay. know why she bothered. I, I don't even you know why me. she bothered to even show up. She was half dressed. Let's just start. Well, it with felt that. like she didn't put on the entire outfit. It also felt like she was much more inspired by the Seinfeld puffy shirt episode than New Romantics. Yeah, the pirate shirt. It was which, just a big, roughly puffy shirt. That's the typical mm. misinterpretation of New Romantic is the pirate shirt, and that's not necessarily what everyone was wearing. But because Vivian Westwood did one one runway shirt. and oh, la di da were stuck with it forever. Mm. Also, what was with the blue forehead? What was with the blue forehead? It was the most interesting. It was gorgeous. And, and I mean, it certainly distracted from that sh- crappy wig. I almost said a bad word. That crappy wig she had on. Oy vey. Mm. But uh, she looked good, but that was not new romantic. Mm. She was half-dressed. Finger don't. Finger don't. Yeah. No. Don't. No. Stop it. Finger don't do that again. Yeah. It's a hyena. Don't. Mm. Bless you. Bless you. I'm going to say the most new romantic look on that runway was Kyron's because it didn't look like anything. That that If you had gone back to the early 80s to see someone walking around in new romantic, that's what they would have looked like. Yeah, it looked so bizarre. I didn't yeah. know what I was looking at. The proportions yeah. were all weird. Yeah. Like Her waist was down by her knees. Yeah. But I didn't care. I was fascinated. Yeah. I was fascinated. The color was weird too yeah. like it was but her black hair piled up on top of her head that was very new romantic of the period i i i was very impressed i totally gave kyron a finger do and then next on the runway was chanel wearing a skirt made out of ties because we've never seen that before so was it a skirt that? or just a long belt I don't know what it, it wasn't was. very long it didn't it seemed barely there yeah, yeah and then she had to mention that she made a hat in all of eight minutes well that explains well, okay. why it looked like that yeah. come on but this is another outfit of hers that she made herself. She's a seamstress. I wouldn't say I made that. No, I feel like I could have made that. You, you have. I, I, by accident. It wasn't even on on the agenda. No. And you made a skirt no. like that. You know. No. No. Again, from the neck up, stunning. She looked like Bernadette face. Peters. She was so beautiful. Beautiful but, face. But yeah, this was not new romantic. Finger don't for Chanel. Mm. Shame. Shame. Ding, 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 ding. Wow. <laughs> oh. Shame on that. Well, Shame. <laughs> don't touch me. I'm, oh, it's fun. I see why you I do it. Blow it into that. <laughs> wow. It's my nose. That's my like ears popped that time. Did wow. They? Yes. You know how I feel. I don't. No. Well, I don't care. Let me just. Say oh, that. okay. <laughs> and then next time the morning was marmalade, who looked like she'd fallen into. I don't know. David Bowie's tickle chest and came out with all kinds of wonderful accoutrement on her. I, I had no idea what I was looking at. The color she story. Like a toy soldier from yeah. the gayest, yeah, the gayest army, army ever. I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. The color story was absolutely not new romantic. This is not a new romantic look at all. And yet it totally was because it was her look. I thought the way she made a military-style jacket by just going over the top was brilliant. Yeah. Her makeup was great. The fact that she was the only one in pastel set her apart from everybody. Her makeup was gorgeous. Yeah, was so pretty. And and the only the only critique I had was that that uh, spandex on her was blousey. I hate it when skinny people don't wear tight enough tights. It just bothers me. <laughs> it can be tight on you. Yeah, I also thought that coming towards you was a feast for the eyes. Yes. And then on her way, where you're like, oh, well, like kind of. But I, a little more of a snack. I felt like it was a little un- underbalanced. Like, yeah. Like a yeah. little more in the back would, have, would have been I like the draping in the back because it let me know that she, she did, did put something back there, but also she could sit in this. If she'd had all the stuff that was on the front of it, on the back, she couldn't have sat. She couldn't have leaned back. Of course, back. Yeah. sitting. So by draping that it. stuff, at least it gave you something to look at. But unfortunately, mm. it was not the same as when she was yeah. coming at you. But she should have left the room backwards. That would have helped. She should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but that front view was something else. Yeah. Finger do for marmalade. Good for you, Marms. You weren't going to call her that anymore. I love it now. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something new? Are you going to be wee, wee, wee? Wee. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why. I'm French, maybe. Are I don't you? Know. Well, I'm Scottish. I couldn't well, have then, some French. No, no, no. And then there was Octavia. Yeah, the love child of Prince and Austin Powers. She looked great, and I liked that she didn't wear distracting colors or anything. And I am going to say she did look new romantic-ish. More so than some of them. Like, I, I like that she wasn't wearing a military mm-hmm. hat from the 16th century or any of that... And the ruffled shirt was sticking out of her purple, are we going to velvet jacket? Sure, yeah. But I thought she looked great. Her presentation. 
What's the thing? Else? Well, she was playing off the judges. They kept wanting to hear her do her Michael Jackson, so she it. did it. Yeah, so she did it. Yeah. They're very good for if you know what Rue wants and you're and you're willing to dance like a monkey and give it to her. Yep. She's gonna love it. Yeah, it's and RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Dance monkey. Dance. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was too funny. I I didn't really care what the outfit was because no. her presentation was was very enjoyable. And that's why I gave her a finger do. I thought, well done, you. Yeah. And then I'm just going to say it. What, my second favorite outfit for this runway, Dita. You had a feast of hound's tooth and dog's tooth and all of the little teeth. long in the tooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little. <laughs> she's my age. She's done. Oh, God, no, she's younger than it, both of us. I will kill you. She's like younger I, than both of us. That's true. She's just dead. And she's 48. Yeah, she just acts older. She's a baby. Bless her. Look at her. But, yeah, I thought, even though the hat was not a military, like a like an absolute vintage piece, it emulated the shape. And the, the silhouette of this outfit was correct. And I thought the black and white of it with the added stones made it drag. It was very While fun. While it was still the, the topic. So I absolutely gave Dita a finger do. Yeah, yeah, I was very impressed. Even her makeup. She had some great makeup on. It was very simple, but she, she was there. She... she Stepped it up. Yeah, I thought, I thought she looked fantastic. Yeah. I thought it was a really fun outfit. Yeah. Simon Le Bon said that she was the only one who really nailed the brief. Yeah, so and he would know because he's he older there. than both yeah. of us. Yeah. But I mean, he did a lot of drugs, so who knows what things look like back then. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what rose-colored glasses he was yeah, looking through. Yeah, know. He's got glaucoma in one eye and astigmatism in the other yeah. one now. Yeah. He could have been seeing anything. Kiki was mm-hmm. next. And I, I'm going to say... I. Say it. I hated what she was wearing yeah. for the runway, but she didn't look bad. No, it she just was wasn't cute. great. But like l- the wig was weird. And... It was like a, an odd mullet that wasn't really mullet-ish yeah. enough. Yeah. And, and then that lacy top could have been bigger in some way. Like she could have padded out the shoulders, ruffled the sleeves out. It was a little too streamlined for the the brief. And then. Uh, the glittery thing she had on underneath was not new romantic at all. No. And then those l- weird colored leather pants. It was just, a, it was kind of odd choices all around. I felt like an outfit that she'd picked out to go shopping to pick up her outfit for this runway. Yeah. And then she forgot to pick up the outfit for the runway. So yeah. she's like, well, this is fine. I didn't have time. Yeah, I'm going to give her a finger don't because this, this could have been so much better. But uh, she wasn't the worst. She was not the worst. No, but no, she no, was no. really far from the best, mm-hmm. that's for sure. Chara was next and last and thank god i don't know what the hell she thought i mean lee bowery clearly i did think it was kind of cute when she was like oh i hope they get this lee bowery reference <laughs> this obscure the big question lee is bowery how do reference. you know who lee bowery is you 12 year old you know <laughs> but i i loved it it was not new romantic it was not new romantic all. that's club kid yeah. that's a club kid look it was a, it was a great look i'm sure it was very expensive i'm sure it was very heavy it looked very cool i mean you know the lee bowery re- Club Kid reference was very on the nose. Yeah. It just was not for this runway. It's not what they asked yeah, for. That's why I gave for. her a finger don't. Bless. Yeah. Great outfit. I still loved it. Yeah. Wrong run run. Mm. Run run. What did you say? Wrong Put your teeth back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was time for the rom-coms. Thank God. Mm. First up was the trailer for Hate, actually. And I liked this. This was so much fun. It was I thought fun. everyone did a great job. I don't necessarily think they were all in the same teaser for the same movie but i had no problem watching them all no i i didn't think i was gonna like sahira and she i soon she put that turkey on her head so funny totally she committed to the part yeah. she absolutely did not hold anyone back or ruin it for anyone dina i'm just saying she did a good job well done very surprising yeah. she was fun lil was super fun lil was great like chanel the whining was... and crying she did was hilarious yeah. chanel was there chanel was there yep chanel was fine chanel did the thing she didn't trip anyone up it was great the star oh. of this oh. show Sweet Marie and the Ships at Sea. If it wasn't Hugh Grunt and Lavoie, it definitely was Relisa. Relisa, what a surprise. Oh, my God. Playing an insane child. This was such a great role for her to play because there was no lead up. It wasn't an actual character from any of the movies. It wasn't anything. It was a a wild card. And she went with it right to the wall. Yeah. So funny. Was, she played crazy beautifully. It was fantastic. Yeah. But the reference to Alan yeah. Carr was so funny. Too funny. Yeah. Lavoie and Kyron, that was absolutely my favorite scene. Like, they 
clearly had had the best time. Lavoie's reactions to things. Well, also Lavoie looked like Martine. So like I, I knew who she was playing. I got it. It was great. I still have no idea who no. Kyron was doing, but I couldn't take my eyes off. It was just so funny. It was so stupid. So <laughs> funny, the two of them. Yeah. So all in dumb. all, I really enjoyed. Uh, I really enjoyed this trailer. Yeah, yeah. Hate actually. Well done. Well done. And then it was time for 40 funerals and a wedding. And uh, clearly the editing did not help anybody. And this certainly not yeah. Dita. She's still. Yeah, it was not. It was not great. I do feel like this was not as well written. No. As the other one, like I, I felt they they were kind of leaning more on like let's make fun of these these Moments. well known actresses. Yeah. But since half the time we didn't know who they were trying to play, it kind of fell a little bit flat. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the standouts for me definitely were Marmalade. Marmalade was she delightful. killed it. Yeah. yeah. And Octavia as Hugh Grunt again. As Michael Jackson. Yeah. The uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Very funny. I thought they stood up well. Chara's character did well too. I, I mean, there was nothing about this that was bad. It just didn't come off as well as the other. Yeah, you it know. just... Mm, I'm going to blame the writing. Yeah, because the Maybe. editing it clearly wasn't there for anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was a little... Yeah. I, I mean, I have to say that uh, Kiki felt like she she was in a completely different movie. Like, yeah. I know you're playing She American, was a breath of fresh air in it. For something that was as mediocre as it was, I enjoyed the Kiki moments because it kind of mm, woke me up. Mm. And then it was time for the judges' critiques. Lil, Lavoie, Chanel, Charity, and... Octavia. Octavia were all safe. So Fair they enough. freaked off to the workroom. Mm. Bye. Yeah. Bye. So the tops for this week were Relisa. Yep. No surprise. Nope, Nat, she killed it. Kyron. No surprise. And Marmalade. Nat, yeah, I, I agree with that. Yep. Those were, they, they all stood out. For her acting? Yeah. Yep. I was a bit surprised that Lavoie wasn't in the top. I thought that yeah, she wanted to deserve yeah, it for her acting. But, but I think... Do you think her outfit let her down? I don't know if it let her down, but it certainly wasn't as spectacular as it's the Mark other Lawrence? three. Yeah. But also, her acting, she did well, which was great, but I think she was uh, overshone by Kyron. Yeah. You know, I, I just think that her she upstaged her. Yeah. Reacting. Yeah. yeah. And, which which was perfect. Yeah. And... Part of why Kyron did so well, but it wasn't necessarily acknowledged by the judges beyond that. Fair but she was enough. safe. So, uh, yeah, she was fair. safe. That's fair. Yeah. 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 That was the other one I questioned. I was like, Relisa? Absolutely. Yeah. Kyron? Absolutely. Marmalade? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. When you yeah. see what she was working with. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Much more understandable to me were the bottoms. Yeah. Uh, Zahira, Dita, and Kiki. I mean, Kiki's... Outfit definitely did her no favors. No favors. Dita's acting did her no favors. No. And it affected her team yeah. a little, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bollocks. Bollocks. More energy. Oh, see, you put me to sleep. You put me right to sleep with that. Bollocks. Oh, oh. Mm. Speaking of Lavoie, back in the workroom, she thought she did better than safe. And, and I agree. I think she did do better than safe. But with the number of queens that were there, it, not enough to be in the top three. She was edged out, for sure. Yeah. And then I felt that the, the workroom took a weird turn as far as Dita was concerned, because she got very shady. Like, Kyron went on and on about how well she had done with the critiques, but then Dita stopped her and said, well, Michelle does want you to change your makeup. Yeah, which is completely unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. But I also yeah. understand that she was like, oh, I just got... <laughs> yeah, no, she was feeling yeah. a certain way, and I get it, but she, her defense was to drag the other queens down. Yeah, which is... You know, and then she had a moment, and then she had to go off by herself, and then... Well, this moment came after she had that side comment mm. about, well, at least my outfit's complete. I hope yeah. that having a complete outfit keeps me out of the bottom. At least I'm wearing pants, you know, or... Again, fair. fair. Yeah, absolutely. But the way she said it, and the whole room, I mean, again, Kyron's mouth flew and, I, and they all read her and she had to have a moment. She had she to did. leave. And then my favorite moment of the whole thing was Chanel in her gracious era felt that it was her job to talk Dita back from the edge. And Lavoie did not. <laughs> Lavoie's reaction in the confession. Like, <laughs> and I agree. I was like, if, if I'm having a moment, do I would I'm, have grabbed her by the arm and said, "Don't you dare go over there! Don't you, don't you dare! You're not the one." And that's what the, that's what Lavois said. Not you, or Chanel, not you. <laughs> Although you know, to give to Chanel's credit, she does have experience sticking her foot in her mouth. Yeah, 
during and, and still pe- holding your head up. Yeah, high. yeah. So she's like, oh, as someone who just did this all last week, yeah. let me explain to you how this is not going to work yeah. out very well for you. I understood her rationalizing yeah. herself to do this, and what surprised me, she wasn't wrong. She did a great job. Yeah, she yeah. did a very, very good job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dita came back, apologized, everything was fine. Yeah. Mm. And then they head back to the main stage. Who did you think was going to win before they announced? They loved Kyron's Hugh Grunt so much. I was like, yeah, I, th- I think Kyron's going to get get her second badge. And then and she did. Yeah, no surprise there. Yeah. I thought they might have given it to Relisa. I really did. I, I thought Relisa was going to win it, only because no one was expecting that from yeah. her. But yeah. I think I think she lost it with the runway. Yeah, and, and I think yeah, Kyron that killed was both the difference. Angles yeah, yeah. Kyron, Kyron nailed the runway, nailed the yeah. challenge. Yeah. So no surprise that she got her second Rupita badge. Yeah. yeah, and poor Marmalade. God bless her, but she is always the bridesmaid, never the bride. It's it. I, I can see it. She's handling it well, but it's starting to wear on her. You're fine, Marmalade. We're only three episodes in. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Yeah. You were in the top three last week. You're fine. Yep. You're fine. Top you're in the two top this three week. again this yeah, week. You're Great. good. You're you good. Well. Yeah. Yeah. You're right in the zone. I mean, you do have to win a badge at some point. It is about winning the badges, but you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. You'll be yeah. fine. Who wasn't fine were the queens in the bottom. And I don't think that it was a surprise to anyone that it was Dita. And Kiki. Kiki in the bottom. And yes. right away, I knew... We're saying goodbye to Dita. I was pretty sure. I mean, on the one hand, they were lip syncing to Duran Duran's Girls on Films. I'm like, okay. So it's, it's a familiar more even, to Dita. Yeah, and we're yeah. even playing ground. But Dita didn't seem to know any of the words. She seemed to... How yeah, is that possible? That song's been around her entire life. Her whole life. How, you've heard that song your entire... <laughs> she you, was there when it was released. Yeah, you've heard How it do you not know the words? Years. I know the words, and I'm not a fan of Duran Duran. No. Just saying. Just saying. But Kiki also, I felt, even though she had... a mediocre outfit on it allowed her to kind of do her thing it didn't hold her back in any way she really did dance this out this is this was definitely a song for dancing it out and she she went for it she clearly wanted this she clearly went for it she she did her thing and i was not surprised when all the dust settled and sweet diva dita dita says bye bye or something something to that really paid attention to what she said yeah, I don't know. She's one of those people, I think, that after the hoopla of it all, you can kind of appreciate her a little bit more because you're not in the zone. But, right, like, for her to go out, she really, her whole presence on the show is a bit of a whimper. And yeah. it breaks my heart because I really liked her out of the gate, and I was expecting more from her. She certainly made a good impression out of the gate. I just don't think this was for her. No. I just don't think this was the right venue for her. I, I, I mean, TV is very weird to do. You really do have to, like, the camera sucks out a lot of energy. Yeah. So if you're not used to that, and if you're and not... you're filming for 12, 13 yeah. hours a day in some cases, and especially with these reality shows, I mean, they do have to have an end time and a start time, and they're still following union work and all, but these queens aren't used to that. And being on set with a camera in your face and a mic recording everything you say, yeah. you don't realize it until you're watching the show back and you realize, oh my God, I didn't say that out loud. Well, you did, and the mic was on. You idiot. Yeah, I think she was just worried about the challenges and nothing in between, and then she wasn't good enough at the challenges, and so the in-between stuff didn't save her or make her any more interesting. So, I will say this. She had better runway than Chanel for somebody who made one less costume than her. So... Well, she's the seamstress, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought she did a I great job. I was much more interested in seeing what Dita was going to be bringing than, yes. than Chanel yes. so far. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss Dita, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad she's out of the way, because she wasn't going to win. No. No. How about you? Do you agree, Dita being the one to walk away? Finally, we got a queen to go home. Finally. Third oh. episode in. Gee whiz. Gee willikers. Yeah, but... Uh, oh, my Francais, but The nice willikers. thing about Dita going home is none of the queens that I'm liking more are going anywhere. Yeah. And that that's helpful. Um, if you agree with what's going on, let me know down in the comments down below. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And... Again, leave any comment down below. I like to answer everything. But do you agree? Do you disagree? What about the new romantic? Do you have a better take on new romantic than they did? Than I do? What do you think? Leave that all down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to uh, check out my links to my Patreon page where the Fingerdo family meets twice a month for a live chat. There's also a link to my Redbubble store where you can get Wilma merch. And there is my OG Tipper Do link where you can leave a tip or do on PayPal if you'd like to support the channel even more, or if you're afraid of PayPal like a lot of people are, there's a YouTube thanks button just below this screen. (sighs) 
Hot. Thanks for joining. Thanks for having. And until next time, this is Mwah! That was that was yeah, a good goodbye. Goodbye, Dina. Yeah, 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 that was okay. I'm okay with saying yeah, goodbye. To Dina. I certainly. I mean, when yeah. she got voted off, my reaction was bollocks. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Your snorts are a lot more delicate than mine. Are. I am a fragile flower. Are you? I'm a lady. Are Are you? Yes. Are you don't see these gorgeous tits? That doesn't mean you're lazy. Well, I'm more lazy than you. Tits. What happened to you? It's like a pirate's oh! tits down I there. presume my, my, my oh! you know, boring flesh-colored brassiere is oh. sinking. Yeah. Mm. Well. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Let me get out of here. Wonderful. <laughs>